Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Professor Hall and we are continuing our set of lectures on run-ons and comma splices. Um, if you haven't seen the first part of this, you can click on my name. I have a, a playlist for sentence structures and grammatical errors and you can look at the first few parts. But now, <laughs> this joke, uh, comma, 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 chameleon. Um, most of you are probably too young to get that joke and even I'm a little bit young for it as well, but I find it funny. All right, so today we're finally looking at comma splices. Let's get started. So what we've learned, where we are and where we're going. Um, those are the four types of sentence structures, simple, compound, complex, and compound complex. Last time we discussed run-on sentences, we talked about how they occur when people combine different sentence structures the wrong way. Now we're going to look at comma splice errors and we'll talk about how they're related to run-ons. And then next we'll look at both of these errors in context. So moving toward comprehension um, to see what this looks like in um, pairs of sentences or groups and short paragraphs. And then also looking at authentic materials. So let's take a look at what these actually look like in real life. How would I find them? How would I fix them? That kind of thing. Review the run-on definition. Um, two or more complete sentences are not properly joined or separated. So a run-on is also called a fused sentence. If you remember from last time, fused means joined or blended to form a single entity. A run-on occurs when two or more complete sentences are smashed together like one sentence. Here we have, I was hungry, Whoops, <laughs> I was hungry, I ate lunch. Independent clause, independent clause, nothing in between. So you fix it in one of five ways. And here we see three of those ways. You can put in a period, you can put in a semicolon. It's kind of like a medium pause. A period is like a longer pause. You can put a comma in plus a fanboy's conjunction. It's like a brief pause plus a conjunction, a joining word. Um, add a subordinating conjunction to make it part of the sentence dependent on the other part to be a complete thought. Or you can rewrite it completely. So let's fix the same run on five ways. Sally and Tammy go to the doctor. She is an orthopedic specialist and she has helped both of them. Okay, so I put the second half, the part that, um, the part that's the second independent clause in blue. Actually, it's not. It's an independent, an independent, a conjunction, and another independent. You don't necessarily need to know that, but let's take a look. First, we can do a full stop. Sally and Tammy go to the same doctor, period. She is an orthopedic specialist and she has helped both of them. Semicolon. Sally and Tammy go to the same doctor. Semicolon. She is an orthopedic specialist and she has helped both of them. A fanboy's conjunction. Sally and Tammy go to the same doctor for she is an orthopedic specialist and she has helped both of them. Um, I don't, oh, I don't always, I don't love this, but that's, that's a question I have for you for later. It's not my favorite change. It is grammatically correct. Uh, it just sounds a little bit formal. Sally and Tammy go to the same doctor, um, because she is an orthopedic specialist and has helped both of them. So basically what we've done is turned this into a complex compound sentence. So we have our independent, now we have our dependent, sorry, <laughs> then we have our conjunction and then another independent. Reword completely. Sally and Tammy go to the same orthopedic specialist who has helped both of them. So switching up, which version do you prefer? I mentioned, um, that I don't, I don't love the one with four. Um, I wanted to show you guys kind of how that conjunction would be used. Four is great when you have more formal writing. 
um, and you're using the word for in that way. We don't often do it in um, in speech, in talking, and even in academic papers, you don't have it that often. So um, it's not my favorite, but that's okay. <laughs> it's not about me. It's about which one you prefer. Do you like having some longer, more complex sentences um, like number four? Do you like having shorter sentences that get to the point like number one? Or do you want to have, have good sentence variation and mix it up a little bit? So why am I talking about this for review? What do run-ons or how do run-ons relate to comma splice errors? Well, actually, a comma splice is exactly the same as a run-on, except it has a comma splicing or splitting the two sentences. This is an error. You can only fix a comma splice in one of the, it says four, but one of the five ways that we just mentioned. Um, putting in a period, turning the comma into a period, um, turning it into a semicolon, adding after the comma a fanboy's conjunction, um, adding in a dependent marker word, or rewriting the sentence. You cannot just take the comma out. If you just take the comma out, you are turning it into a run-on. But I love this little cartoon right here. <laughs> the, the comma bully. Um, hey, it's our turn, says the little semicolon. Um, you big bully. Here are the fanboys down here. Oh, man, let me in this sentence. Yeah, right. Not in this sentence, losers. Um, <laughs> I didn't draw this, but... I like the idea because very often, I think because people are confused about comma rules, they just add a comma into a run-on sentence and they don't realize that it's it's creating a different error. So it's this, the, the idea of the comma bully is that the comma is there so often and the poor little semicolon never gets used. It's also an error to have one of those fanboys without the comma before it. So I like this too. You can see the little comma before the yet, the comma before the or, all of that. Oh, and the period's down there too. Nice. So comma splice error examples. Sally and Tammy go to the same doctor. She is an orthopedic specialist and has helped. So I wanted to show you guys, this is the exact same sentence as before. I added a comma in and now it is a comma splice error. You cannot have that. My favorite colors were silver and blue. I decorated my entire house with those colors. Here we have two simple sentences, two independent clauses incorrectly joined. There's a comma splicing the two together. Running away was not easy, but our dog managed her way out of the gate. After she dug underneath the fence, she hid in the neighbor's yard. So here we have a compound sentence. That means that it's an independent clause. The proper comma here before our conjunction. And then another independent clause. Then we have a comma splitting these two apart. And we have the dependent, um, which is properly followed by a comma, and then the independent. And as I said, the next set of lectures is going to talk more about the uses of commas. So if that was a little bit confusing, you can watch those as well. But basically, all of these, the same thing is happening. We have that comma in the wrong spot, splitting apart those two sentences. You can see that in the yellow each time. I enjoy math. My math grades are not the best. Two simple sentences joined the wrong way. So how can we fix them? We're going to fix them all the exact same way. Um, Sally and Tammy go to the same doctor, period. We already looked at that one, right? Um, with the run-ons. Period. She is an orthopedic specialist and she has helped both of them. My favorite colors were silver and blue, period. I decorated my entire house with those colors. Simple and simple. Running away was not easy, but our dog managed her way out of the gate, period. After she dug the fence, she hid in the neighbor's yard, Compound plus complex. I enjoy math, period. My grades are not the best. Simple and simple. Fix number two, adding the semicolon. So with Sally and Tammy, it's the same one we just looked at. My favorite colors are silver and blue. I decorated my entire house with those colors. Semicolon in between. 
managed her way out of the gate, semicolon, after she dug underneath the fence, she hid in the neighbor's yard. I enjoy math. My, grade are not the, my grades are not the best. Now, a semicolon is supposed to be when sentences are related. I don't know if I gave you guys the best examples of sentences here that are directly related, except for maybe number two um, and number four. I guess those are a little bit more related. Um, don't, throw se don't throw semicolons into every sentence. That's my concern. Sometimes when people learn how to use it, they want to use it all the time. Add a fanboy's conjunction. So we saw that with Sally and Tammy, right? My favorite colors were silver and blue, so I decorated my entire house. Running away was not easy, but our dog managed her way out of the gate. And after she dug underneath the fence, she hid in the neighbor's yard. My math, I enjoy math, yet my math grades are not the best. Um... Each time, you can see the comma before that conjunction. All right, fix four. There we go. Adding one of those subordinating conjunction words, those things that turn part of your run-on into a dependent clause. We saw with Sally and Tammy... They go to the same doctor because she is an orthopedic specialist and she has helped both of them. We actually shouldn't have a comma there. Sorry about that. My favorite colors were silver and blue until I decorated my entire house with those colors. Running away was not easy, but our dog managed her way out of the gate when she dug underneath the fence and hid in the neighbor's yard. I enjoy math, even though my grades are not the best. Okay, so hopefully you can see, even though I accidentally left the commas in from the slide before, and they should not be there, <laughs> um, you can hopefully see how that would work. Now the sentences are correctly joined. And fix five is rewording. Another word for rewording, rephrasing, paraphrasing, putting in different words, expressing it differently. Um, tell, Tally, goodness, Sally and Tammy go to the same doctor and orthopedic specialist who has helped them. I decided to decorate my entire house in my favorite colors of silver and blue. Twice, our dog managed to run away by digging underneath the fence gate. We found her in the neighbor's yard. Even though my grades aren't the best, I still enjoy math class. So all of those are rewritten, and um, hopefully you can see how to fix comma splices. Warning, warning, warning um, to comma or not to comma. You cannot fix a run-on sentence by just adding a comma. You cannot fix a comma splice by taking out the comma. This is the number one mistake that people make. If I tell them that they have a run on, they kind of know where the split is many times and they'll throw a comma in there. You can't do that. It just changes one error into another. So make sure that you are not doing it. Um, here's an example. Rodrigo wanted to play outside. He didn't have anyone to play with, so he sat under a tree to read. This is a run on sentence. The split comes after outside. First attempt, incorrect. Rodrigo wanted to play outside, comma, he didn't have anyone to play with. No, just turned it into a comma splice error. Rodrigo wanted someone to play with outside, but he didn't have anyone to play with, so he sat under a tree to read. Now we have correctly fixed it. This one took a comma plus a fanboys, but I could have put a period or a semicolon in there or reworded it. Any of those would have been fine. So let's review. A run-on is also called a fused sentence. It occurs when two or more complete sentences are joined or fused incorrectly, incorrectly with no proper conjunctions or punctuation between the sentences. A comma splice is exactly the same as a run-on, except there is a comma splicing or splitting the sentences apart. You fix a comma splice the exact same way you fix a run-on. Add a period, add a semicolon, add a comma plus a fanboy's conjunction, 
add a dependent clause word, a subordinating conjunction to, com to create a different type of sentence or reword completely. Next, we're going to look at these errors in context and then authentic materials. So I hope that um, this explained the terms a little bit and you can understand better what a comma splice is. If you need a little bit more information, ask me in the comments and I will try to answer. Thanks, everybody.